Meantime, on November 6, 2020, the Cabinet of Ministers officially approved the Public Debt Management Policy, PDMP, and the publication of two debt reports, namely the 2019 Annual Debt Portfolio Review and the Quarterly Debt Bulletin as of June 30, 2020. The Public Debt Management Policy is an effort to manage and guide St. Lucia's debt management practices and to correct the shortcomings of the current public debt framework. The PDMP establishes a robust legal framework which sets out the authority to borrow, specifies the purpose of borrowing, establishes clear debt management objectives, requires the preparation of a debt management strategy, and requires mandatory reporting on debt management performance. The annual debt portfolio review provides a comprehensive look at the debt situation of St. Lucia over the past five-year period. It provides an analysis of movements in the debt stock and explores debt-related issues identified in St. Lucia's debt management strategy while identifying risk indicators inherent in the portfolio. The quarterly debt bulletin analyzes debt statistics such as central government debt, guaranteed loans and external and domestic debt breakdowns. The quarterly frequency of this report will serve as a monitoring mechanism for the government and investors. These reports will be available on the government's web portal and Department of Finance website, providing invaluable information to the public who require data to inform their investment decisions and other stakeholders requiring up-to-date research data. Minister for Equity, Social Justice, Local Government and Empowerment Honorable Leonard Montoot has called on the St. Lucian Society to reimagine how it interacts and protects children. Honorable Montoot made the call on the occasion of World Children's Day observed the 20th of November. Noting the impact of abuse on the nation's children, Minister Montoot indicated that his ministry has doubled efforts to protect children. Reimagine the future in the context of our current environment of uncertainty provides the platform for both adults and children to redefine the way in which things are done so that more positive outcomes can be accomplished. My ministry takes a serious stance on issues of child abuse, maltreatment, and any other forms of abuse of children. We, together with the community, will provide an opportunity to envisage the future of children who are experiencing various forms of maltreatment and what can be done to assist them in overcoming these challenges to live up to their full potential in an environment con conducive to their growth and development. It begs of us to look intuitively at all aspects of life that affects children and plan for, from now ways in which children's rights can be continued to real, be realized. Honorable Montoot says government policy and legislation will continue to guide the care of children. The Child Care Protective and Adoption Act, which my government passed in November 2018, has positioned us to continue the process of putting in place the necessary legislation policies and protocols to ensure that the articles contained within the Convention of the Rights of the Child are adhered to. In light of this, the Government of St. Lucia remains committed to ensure that all the rights of the child set out in the Convention are met. This includes ensuring that every child is protected from all forms of abuse, neglect, violence and exploitation. In addition, this government is committed to every child having access to quality education and health care and to assist marginalized families so that they are able to provide their children with their basic needs such as food, clothing and shelter. Furthermore, this government believes that every child should grow and thrive in an environment where they feel loved, have a sense of belonging, cared for and are able to express their ideas without fear of victimization. Honorable Leonard Montoot.